everyone, it's Be Divine. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> and welcome to um, the Domino Angels. And this is going to be, um, oh yes, everybody, here you go. There's my Domino Angels pack and my cards. All right, with all the Domino Angels things on it. All right, um, I'm going to do for the month of January, so each week, sorry, I'll be pulling four cards and we will see what the messages are. Um, and I'll also be doing them, you know, every week anyway, unless I'm away, because I'm going to be away a lot this year. For the first six months, I'm going to be away anyway for quite a while. But I'm still going to be doing everything I can. And I still wanted to let you guys know that you can Skype call me now. And um, I do have all the information there on my website, and it also helps you to find out the time zone differences. I've got a special thing there that... Um, it helps to sort of like, you know, if you if you know what time it is where you are and what time you would like to, to talk to me on Skype, then you'd be able to see what time it is for me. So if you want to do that, you know, check it out. Because I love talking to you guys. I've had so much fun to the people I've been talking to. And we just laugh and carry on and talk and it's great. So, so um, anyway, just wanted to let you guys know. Okay, now this is going to be, even though we're already at the 3rd of January, I'm still going to do the focus for the week. And it's very, very quickly happening. And here we go again. I know we got this card the other day. Archangel Cambriel. Okay, very, very important. So this is still, Archangel Cambriel is still working with us. Working with us on helping you to develop your psychic awareness. And speaking with people that you know, you may not have spoken to for a long time. It's, it's an urge to do this. Maybe not for your sake, but for their sake. Uh, and also, you will have the most energy at night and should attend things that you are invited to. And also, just keeping that money in the wallet. Don't worry about gambling or anything like that at the moment. Keep the money in the wallet. Okay, unexpected visitors through the night. Thank you, Archangel Gabriel. Uh, Cambriel, sorry. Um, light a dark blue purple candle to connect so that's awesome okay so that is for week one and I think that is the one the uh, card that we got last week I'm pretty sure so this energy of Cambriel is working with us very very strongly okay so for next week let's have a look oh cool Archangel Virtual very very interesting angel and working with us in the second week of January and bringing us surprise so virtual is the bringer of surprise uh, it is also the he is also the Archangel of July I believe yep July okay this week you shall more than likely receive new clothes jewelry or things you have wanted but haven't gotten around to getting this is a gift from someone else and you will be amazed at the thoughtfulness of the gift. At the thoughtfulness of the gift. Sometimes my tongue doesn't work. <laughs> it could also indicate that you have been meaning to get something for a certain someone. So this reminds you to hop to it and get it now for some reason. For some reason this camera is really freaking me out at the moment. Anyway, thank you Archangel Virtual. Light a gold candle to connect. So there you go. So surprises, things happening in um, that you know things that you've been getting, wanting to get but haven't been around to getting. You're going to be able to do this. Um, and also, what comes to mind is finding things. So um, it's a surprise when you find something that you lost ages ago, or um, a surprise when someone comes back on the scene that you haven't heard from from for a long time, which goes in line with Cambriel as well. So we are working with a lot of um, en the energy of surprises, so things that you weren't expecting. So that's awesome. And a gold color is virtual. So could even be some gold or some jewelry, um, in, you know, golden jewelry that you've been looking for. Okay, I'll just close my eyes. So the third week of January. Okay. Archangel Azrael is very, very important. I know some people are starting to get to know these angels now. And Azrael is one of the angels that works with you in transition times when you um, pass away, you, you yourself or, or your loved ones. 
Um, so people will instantly get worried. Don't do that anymore. Don't get worried. He's just with you and it could mean that it is a time of loss or attendance at a funeral or your support is required. There will be an increased sense that you're not alone. And this is also a hello, hello from heaven directly for you. So a lot of times people are like, wonder where my um, my son is or what you know my, my loved ones are. And this is saying that they are saying hello to you. They are working with you all the time. They are loving you. And um, Azrael also can help you make that connection. So if you've been trying to make a connection with loved ones that have passed over, ask Azrael to bring you messages about this. Okay. Um, your loved ones are in many ways more alive than you are. So don't ignore this calling to mediumship or helping others with their loss right now. Thank you, Archangel Azrael. Light a dark candle to connect. This could also mean, this has just came to me, this could also mean that many of you are having um, a time in your life where you're having memories of someone who has already passed away and this is continually coming up or you have a deep sadness that happens and you can't really explain it. Some of these are past life imprints um, and uh, or some of these are from, from this life, you know, like so in, when February comes up I'll be thinking about my Grammy because she was here with me and you know it'll be one year since she passed away which is hard to believe and so a lot of people are feeling you know missing their loved ones especially around um, Christmas and New Year's Eve and you know New Year's Day and all of these things they're moving ahead in their lives and some people feel like they're leaving them behind and you're not they are just totally happy I, if I, I will talk to you guys about um, the other side and what happens on the other side so hopefully that will help you even though I know that a lot of people will give me a hard time about that kind of a video but I've seen it and, and I've many times and uh, so have thousands of my clients and it was all the same kind of a story so anyway Israel's with you okay if you're going through endings in your life and the third week of January starts to bring this up again Keep talking to Azrael to keep your spirits strong and high. Alright. I'm trying to keep them in order. Okay, so the next one for the last week of January. Cool. Okay, I hope you can see. Archangel Zadkiel working with you on your finances. Not the only place that girl works with, but for this particular card it is. Okay, so urging you to just sort out your finances. If you've had extra bills coming in and not enough money, that girl can offer practical advice and suggestions, like where you can cut things out of your life, or perhaps a better plan for your superannuation, or you know, better financial portfolio, and uh, you know, better investments, or something like this. Um, even when we see bills. Zadkiel reminds you to keep positive because there are blessings around the corner. And also start thinking of think checks coming in the mail instead of bills coming in the mail. Also someone may offer you financial help. Don't be so prideful that you don't take it. And I can, you know, just imagine people are saying, heck, I'll take it, <laughs> just as long as I get someone that can offer it, you know. I know what that feels like. Um, Light a red candle if you really want to work on your financial situation and start bringing in abundance into your life instead of always giving out. It's a lot of it is about receiving and accepting the accepting the help when it does come to you. Uh, sometimes you know things are sent your way and we just go, oh no, that's okay. Well then, you know you asked for help, it was given, and you still don't want it. <laughs> so look for these things that are going to start happening to you. And we've got, funny enough, we've got the number five in that card. We've got the number five in Azrael's card. We've got the number five in Cambriel's card. And we've got the number uh, six, seven, eight, eight in Virtual's card. So that's interesting. All these fives about. Yeah, which is good for business actually as well. The number five. Okay, so those were the cards for the whole month and I've also done the video for the month of January and I'll be doing weekly readings as well um, and I might just quickly now do these um, angels, gods and goddesses I'll pull one of them because I've got it right next to me 
Now I'm not going to cry this time. I know that I I cried last time and it was totally unexpected and obviously um, we all must have needed a release because I can't tell you how many people wrote to me and said that they cried with me and I'm like oh boy <laughs> but we must have needed some sort of little let go there and maybe that's what triggered it all. I certainly wasn't expecting that to happen. But anyway, this week I will pull one of these cards and I do like this deck and people who have told me they've bought it, they uh, actually like it as well. Alright, so we'll ask for a message. Okay, here we go. The Angel of Clearing. Your time of confusion and waiting is soon going to be over. Okay, this is one of the Angels of Clearing. Now, Archangel Gabriel, if you have been watching my thing, uh, last video on... <laughs> you've been watching my thing. The <laughs> last video on the month of January, Gabriel is one of the ones that helps you with clearing and clearing away obstacles and purifying things. And you see the colours in here are the purple and the pinks. So the lavenders and the pinks. So, you know, you've been waiting for something to take place in your life. You've been trying your best to do things. So remember to ask that, ask and release your burdens on the angel's shoulders and, you know, allow them to help you in a certain way. And sometimes things seem at their worst and they build up and they build up and they build up and finally you have this big release and, um, you know, you might cry, you might cleanse yourself, you might go have a healing or something like that. And it's just what you needed for the next phase of your life to start. So your time of waiting and confusion is over, coming to an end. Ask for the clearing angels to be there to clear this energy and lead you to the right people, maybe the right websites, um, the right videos, um, you know, Facebook people, whatever, to help with this and uh, know that this is going to soon start. Um, the reason behind it all is going to be evident to, to you. So there you go. So your time of waiting and confusion is soon going to be over. We are tired of, of waiting for things, I know that, and we are tired of being good and trying our best. And believe me, this year, if we can just get our mindset in the right place, we don't have to be wait, waiting for anything. We're going to see things happening very, very fast. Look at us already nearly to the end of the first week of January, and it was just like yesterday that we were having Christmas, and they've already got hot cross buns advertising coals, for goodness sakes. You know, the 3rd or the 2nd of January, away they go with the next thing that they're going to try to sell us. So, <laughs> lucky I don't eat bread of any kind, um, or anything like that. Alright people, so there you go, there is the month of January for the Domino Angels. And I'm very, very pleased to bring it to you. And I have a lot of other videos that I'm making today. So stay tuned uh, over this week for some things to be uploaded, some different questions. And if you've got questions about love, spirituality, um, angels or guides, or just, you know, questions in general about whatever you want to ask, I will do my best to make videos on these subjects. And they will be slotted into those types of, uh, so it will be frequently asked questions, spirituality, and it will be slotted into that sort of area. And away we go. But I do have some already that I'm going to be talking about that are quite heavy subjects. So sometimes when other people ask, it may already be your question that's actually going to be revealed here. And I'm just going to do the best that I can to answer the things that you guys ask me. Of course, it's only guidance, and you can take it or leave it. <laughs> and do what you want with it. Alright, and if you'd like to know more about um, my raw journey or my raw food journey, um, let me know and I'll keep going with that as well. That's, you know, kind of what I'm doing at the moment. I'm still going with it and I feel fantastic. Anyway, let's go. I will um, see you in the next video. Thank you very much for listening. Bye everyone.